Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, I'm Zandaria Muhammad. Okay, this is my uh, second task for SPSS hands-on uh, for topic uh, is to determine the effectiveness of intervention by measuring baseline BMI and BMI one year after intervention. Uh, the assume the sample was randomly selected and alpha equal 0 0.05. Okay. Let me start with the show the data. Okay. All right. Okay. This is data obesity for BMI pre and BMI post. So now we have a uh, 60 sample here. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, firstly, we need to know uh, what is the uh, uh, how to analyze this data. First, we need to choose what is the uh, analysis uh, method that we gonna to do, we gonna to use, All right? So from this uh, data, we can see that uh, we need to check the um, the uh, assumption. Okay. All right. Step one is set the hypothesis, HO. HO is mu BMI, uh, BMI pre and BMI post. So mu BMI pre equal mu BMI post. So post I put as a BMI one, BMI pre I put as BMI. Okay, for HA, mu BMI not equal with mu BMI 1, which is BMI post. All right, that is the hypothesis. Uh, step number two, what is the um, what is uh, the level of significant? The level of significant is given, which is alpha equal 0 0.05. Okay, next step is assumption of PET test. Okay, the dependent variable must be numerical data. Numerical data. This is a random sample. Okay, number three, all observation are dependent or pet. Okay, all observation is dependent. The observation differences before and after are normally distributed or sample size is big enough. Uh, more than and equal 30. So we have a 60 sample size. All right. Okay, now is a step for assumption. Steps for assumptions. Okay. We want to know either the, the um, observation are uh, normally distributed or not. Okay, so how to how to know the assumption? So we go to analyze, and then we go to descriptive statistic. We go to explore. In the explore dialog box, select the variable require. Okay, so for dependent dependent list.
Okay. In X, in in the explore dialog box, select the variable required and click on the arrow. So we select the BMI for pre. Okay, and then BMI pre, and then we click at uh, both, and we click at plot. Okay. So, in the explore plots sub uh, section, check the histogram in descriptive. Okay, histogram and you need to stem and stem stem and leaf. And then normality plots with test. And then cut the level together in box plots. And then continue. And then click OK. All right. All right. The result show that the diff that uh, the different the histogram is approximately normal. Okay, normal. Okay, normal. All right. All the assumption is fulfilled. Okay. So now step four is test statistic. Okay. How to test the statistic for pet T test? All right. Select analyze, and then select the compare means, and then we choose a one pet sample t test pet sample t test here. Okay, we click. All right, in the pet sample t test uh, dialog box, select the variable required and click arrow. Okay. Right, so pair the the uh, variable uh, required is for pre test and click and then number two is post test and click. Okay. Okay, BMI one is BMI for pre and two is BMI for post. All right, and then click OK. All right. Okay, from the data. The output shows that pet sample uh, statistic and pet sample test is uh, the effectiveness of intervention by measuring baseline BMI, uh, which is pre test, and BMI uh, uh, one year after intervention which is post-test, is 
BMI pre-test M mean equal to 34.4 standard deviation 1.834 reported had significantly higher um, level higher level of BMI then BMI uh, post test which is uh, mean is 29.22 with standard deviation 1.748 uh, with T59 uh, uh, equal to 22.20 and P value is less than 0 0.001. Okay. That's all. Thank you.